so in this video today, I kind of want to talk about what happened uh, in yesterday's video and regarding warning, my bird got attacked, uh, a, speed, a high speed chase. And so what we were doing is we were just going out on, our, on an ordinary day flying and out of nowhere, a falcon, that was the bird, uh, came down diving uh, up high in the sky where I didn't even see it coming uh, after Bruno and Sunshine. And you saw Rudy flying past and it started chasing after uh, Roxy and, and Rudy. And in the video, you saw Roxy flipping sideways, flying sideways, getting ready for that bird as that bird's talons and face is coming towards uh, Roxy. Um, I post that because one, it's, it's an adrenaline rush. Two, it's a statement to say, when you fly a bird, there's really nothing you can do in the sky. Um, the main thing for me is that I continue to challenge my birds. I continue to exercise my birds. I continue to keep them in shape. And I continue to make sure that they respond to my calls. And yesterday, um, it didn't seem like my birds were afraid because a lot of times when we go out, they see all types of birds of prey. We, they've seen big female hawks, they've seen a uh, golden eagle once, uh, owls, they've seen other, um, you know, uh, Cooper's hawks, which is common in chasing after parrots. But a falcon, that is the ultimate speed. Nothing beats a speed of a falcon when it dies. So at that moment in time, what did I rely? I keep my eye on contact of where my birds are flying. Two, um, I rely on the fact that my birds are so in shape that they keep up. <laughs> you leave her alone. She, they're in shape and that they can actually hold their grounds in the sky. Um, that's all we can do um, when we let our birds go. Is this video to made to make you reconsider and think about the, the true uh, way of life of flying a bird? Yes, it is. Um, so many people uh, also, some, I think there was one or two comments saying that, you know, you have to respect the sky, it belongs to the bird of prey. It doesn't belong to the bird of prey, it belongs to all birds. It belongs to all animals that live on earth and join the sky. And Anya, <laughs> hold on a minute. <laughs> and so my, the point of this whole video is just to see you a one glimpse of a reality that can happen. But for all of those who want to consider flying or are flying, it is never safe to fly a bird once a month. It's never safe to fly a bird once a while. It's never safe to say my bird flies indoors and I can take it out to fly. Because, as you can see, Rudy and Bella have been flown for 12 years, going on 13 years or so. And my blues, uh, ranging to, you know, uh, a year to about four, four years or plus. You can see that the Falcon had a hard time chasing. Um, at that point, could anything happen? Yes, there could be anything happen. But all we can rely on is the strength of each other's birds and the eyes in the sky. And at this, in this video, they were not even phased by that Falcon. Sometimes we go out flying, they see other birds of prey and they start screaming. Sometimes they see other birds of prey and they don't want to fly, and you just have to respect that. Um, there are great risks to do. But the final message in that video was that it was very nice to see that the falcons are mating, uh, having a comeback in California. Because not all birds of prey survive their first, first year or second year. Um, they may be a serial killer to other birds, but they don't always are good hunters. Um, and so it's a hopeful message to see falcons out there flying besides red tail hawks. But at the same time, to all you free flyers, be careful and to make sure that, you know, this is what to expect at the ultimate level of a risk is that having a peregrine falcon come after your bird. And your bird should have the ability to escape and fly strong and save their own lives and return to you safely like Bruno. All right? <laughs> okay, enjoy the video. And if you have any questions, please drop me a note. Give me a kiss. Okay, give me a kiss. And yell. Okay, bye-bye.